So we're back here again. Uh, today we have this first snowfall. So what I want to talk about today is some of the underpriced real estate that we might have, some of the opportunities that we might have in, uh, in the winter. Uh, right now it's December, so uh, December 10th. Um, so it's really getting into the, into the low parts of the market. Uh, usually the high parts are April. People love to move in April. Uh, prices always go up in April. The most sales are always in April. Um, everybody knows this, but uh, during Nove November, December, January, this is when the opportunity is, and I'm gonna explain to you why. For example, this, real, this uh, piece of property, it's 77, uh, let me see, 77 Keystone Street in West Roxbury, okay? And it was listed for 790, and now it's 780, and it only took from November 21st to December 5th for the price to drop. So you know that these people are trying to get it off the market. They understand that right now is not the best time to sell. Okay, and this is a two-family. Uh, it's a good uh, investment uh, occupied, um, investor occupied property, which means that you would live in one and rent out the other. Um, you know, rents would have to be set by yourself. Uh, basically. That's what we're going to be looking at. We're going to go, go ahead and look at two other properties that um, also have this same thing where the price change goes down. Uh, a lot of time during the summer, we've seen things listed and things sold for over listing price, which means that there are more buyers than sellers in the market. Um, you, it's by basic supply and demand rules. Uh, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to go take a drive to two more properties. Uh, we're going to go take a look at some of the opportunities that I'm talking about. All right, so let's go ahead. at 17 Loretti Street. Uh, it's just one unit in number three. Um, the listing price is 500,000 and this is another example of, uh, of it going down. Um, on November 2nd, it was listed at 530 and now it's down to 30,000. It was, price was changed on November 30th. So this is another good example of how things are dropping right now in this current market um, during this time. We'll see what happens in the spring. I, my estimate is that things are still gonna go up, but this is way too high. I mean, we're talking about a two bedroom, two bath, 1100 in West, West Roxbury is pretty nice, but we're talking about 500,000 for one unit. That's unheard of. There's definitely a bubble going on and people need to be careful. People need to be really, really careful because uh, this better be a 10 year investment for you. Because in 10 years, it's, it might be worth 500,000 or maybe a little bit more, but not in three years, I promise you that. So um, you guys gotta be careful out there. Uh, and you know, we're gonna go ahead to the third, uh, third unit and we're gonna keep kind of the same agenda here. Um, so let's go ahead and check out the third one. All right, so we're here for the third property here. This is at 20 uh, Weld High Hill Street. Uh, it's in Jamaica Plains. Um, it's a three family, it's two bedroom, one bath each unit, and it's listed at $800,000. Uh, it was just listed on December 7th. Now, it, the price hasn't dropped yet, it's only been a few days, but I'm telling you, this is the kind of thing that, where the price can drop and will drop if you just let it wait a little. Uh, this is a nice area, I mean, you can tell all the houses are comparable, everything is nice. Um, and Forest Hills train station is just down the street. I mean, this is a family oriented, also a um, younger class, people type probably 25 to 35 years old type of demographic here. Um, and it's up and coming, it's growing. There's condos that were just built down the street. I'm talking about $700,000 a unit, okay? And, and this is a lot more homey, a lot quiet. This is a side street. Um, so this is the kind of investment that, that is interesting for me. But at the end of the day, I really like these kind of units for um, owner occupied. So you'd live in one unit, and rent out the other two, and that would make more sense. But again, this is what uh, we were focused on today is trying to find deals because of the winter, because prices are dropping during the winter. And that was kind of the agenda here today. So I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you guys learned something. Um, and uh, I'll see you next week.